All right. We have a string and it may have matched and unmatched parentheses. I want to remove the minimum number of parentheses so that the resulting string represents a valid parenthesization. And here's an example of a valid parenthesization. And here's an example of an invalid one because it doesn't have a corresponding, this opening parent, it doesn't have a corresponding closing one. Okay, and this is an example that can help drive things home. So in this string right here, what is the minimum amount of parentheses we can remove to have a valid parenthesization? And you can see that they got rid of this one and this one to get this, okay? Hope that's clear. Let's look at the solution. Now for the solution, we're doing interesting things. And I think it's worth looking at the code at the same time as we, while we look through this diagram. So we have this string and we want to iterate through the entire string, right? And what this stack is going to contain is the parentheses that we're going to have to remove from this string for this to become like well parenthesized, right? If that's a real word, real word, word. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's, let's go through this with code. Now, we initialize our stack here, right, with uh, an array, which is something you can do in almost every programming language. We pass in a string to our function. We create an array from the string, right, because so we're, we're going to loop through every single character in the string. And we're doing that looping in here, in this block right here. Okay, from beginning to end, you can notice the highlighting. So everything, the, the bulk of the work is within here, which is not too bad, because in here, we get the value, current value we're looking at character we're looking at within the string so in this case they start off looking at a and now the only thing that's ever going to live in this string is going to be a parenthesis no character is ever going to live in this string uh, so a is not going to come in here and what we're going to store when we're storing anything is the parent and its index because we're going to use that index to remove to know where to get rid of things all right so it's not a parenthesis so nothing's going to happen we're going to move to the next one now, before we go forward, I want to note that two, only two things ever happen in our stack, okay? Only two things. We're either popping or pushing. And when we're pushing, we're pushing in the character and its index, as you can see here. And we're only ever pushing parentheses, either opening or closing, right? Now, there's a condition where we pop things from the stack, and you're going to see it shortly. So in this case, we put this thing into the stack, right? It's a closing parent. And... The reason it's going to go in this stack, remember this stack holds things that we're going to ha have to remove from the original string. The reason it goes in is because, as you can see, there's it is the first time we're coming across any parentheses, and it's a closing parenthesis, so it's it's invalid, obviously invalid. There's no way to make this valid. And so it's going to go on the stack, and that's this branch being triggered right here. Now be on the lookout for when this branch triggers, because that's an interesting condition. And if you can inspect it right now, you can notice that one part of the conditions is, oh, there is the thing on top of the stack. That's what this indexing does, tells you. The thing on top of the stack is an opening parent. And the thing the cursor is pointing at right now from within the string that we're passing in is a closed parent. That's the condition to remove something because that means it's balanced. And you're going to see an example of that shortly. And so this is another character. Nothing happens. This is another character in the string. Nothing happens. This is an opening parent. Wonderful. So we have an open op, opening parent. Now notice that the only time something ever comes off the stack is when it's a close. When what we're looking at, what we're pointing to in the original string is a closing parent. So this is always going to trigger for opening parents, right? So that's how it went into the stack. And now we keep going, and now we hit a closing parent finally. So all the moons align, all the stars are in your courses, and so we're going to finally get get to pop something from the stack. And as you can see here. The value we're looking at is a closing parent, right? Remember, you need a closing parent before you ever pop from the stack. And the thing on top of the stack is an open parent, right? That was added from this branch. And there's something to pop from the stack. Otherwise, you have a stack underflow. So that's that about that. So this guy's going to go away. Boom. Remember, the only thing in this stack is what we're going to end up having to remove from the string, the original string. So we meet another regular character, another regular character, and another opening parent that then goes into the stack. All opening parens go into the stack, right? As a rule, all opening parens go into the stack, but sometimes a closing parent is gonna make an opening opening parent get popped from the stack. But you would notice that we've reached the end of the string, so therefore that this is the list of things that we have that are, that are invalid, that we wanna get rid of from our original string, and we do that here. Okay, so we loop through every character 
in the stack this time, every entry in the stack this time, and we replace the array, every every character in the array, in the appropriate position, with an empty string, and then we join everything up here, and we return it, and we are home, home, home stretched. We're free, home free. I think what they call it. We're done. And now it's time to look at time complexity. I mean, intuitively, it's O of n, because in the worst case, you, you're always going to loop through everything in the entire string right at once. So that's an O, an o for operation. And the space complexity, in the worst case, right, Every the stack is going to end up being the same length with the uh, initial string, which is O of n as well. So that's all. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, share, upvote if you saw this video on LeetCode. And uh, see you next time.